going to share with you my 2017 Louis Vuitton handbag collection. If you guys are interested to see what I have, stick around. So as you'll notice, all of my Louis Vuittons are pretty much purchased for a special reason. They all were to represent or are to represent different things. And I went into a lot more detail with that with one of my um, tag videos. And it also talks a lot about how I started with Louis Vuitton and more into this first pick. So I'll go ahead and link that video right up there for you. But needless to say, my very first Louis Vuitton was none other than the classic Speedy in the monogram. And this is just the classic. It was before they actually made made the bandolier style and this bag is just perfect to me. It has lots of love and wear and tear on it but needless to say this bag represented my first real job and I have to say I was so blessed and lucky to land um, a, a really amazing TV show and to landmark that I definitely went ahead and purchased something that I will forever forever cherish. Okay, so I got my classic Speedy. It is in the monogram print, obviously. It was the top handle and it was fantastic. I didn't even think about buying another bag for many, many years. I continued living in Los Angeles and working and I was so lucky to have some great jobs. But ultimately, I decided I needed a shoulder bag as well. And because I already had a monogram print, I chose for my next bag to be the Totally because it was the shoulder strap. And I decided to go with this print mainly because, to be honest, from afar, I always thought that it was gray and white checkered. And when I got close to it, I realized it was navy and white checkered, which I love both gray and navy. So this bag, um, the print, I kind of knew and I wanted a, a, a shoulder bag as well. And then when I started looking more and more into it, um, at this point, I think this the Neverfulls were out, but they weren't nearly as popular as they are now. And this bag, I loved that it had the top um, zipper where the Neverfull did not. And I also love the side pouches. I actually put my keys in it and I also put um, my cell phone in it. But this bag ended up being purchased. Um, I ended up moving uh, I left LA and I purchased this once I completely got debt free. So this was the first thing that I bought after I didn't have to make any more payments on anything at that point. So at this point, I had both a shoulder strap um, in the azure, and I also had my monogram top handle. So of course, I felt like I needed a crossbody bag. And what better print than to go with the dummy bean print? So this is my third Louis Vuitton bag. And this bag um, was purchased to mark an amazing, amazing movie that I got to work on. This was such an amazing experience in my life, both good and bad. It's actually the movie that I met my boyfriend on and it's also the movie where I lost my mother. So um, when I watch that movie, I can pick out that exact scene that those things kind of happen. I can tell you that was the night that I went on my first date with my boyfriend or just different things in that movie are so sentimental. So to mark that, of course, I bought the crossbody Bloomsbury, which I still am really enjoying today. So at this point, I thought that I was kind of content with my three bags. I had all three in each category in each print and I was pretty much set. Well, then I started kind of going into the stores and building my small leather goods collection. And throughout this building of my collection, there was a bag that really caught my eye. And I loved, loved the color. I loved the print. Um, and every time I'd go in, I'd kind of look at it, but I always thought that's way too expensive. I don't need that. That's out of my I, even thoughts at this point. And then ultimately I started really missing it or, or not seeing it in the stores. So one time I was in, um, at this point I was working back in Los Angeles. I uh, was at the Rodeo store and um, I remember the sales associate was so amazing. And I kind of mentioned, she said at this point, I was getting a couple small leather goods um, hot stamped and she said is there any bags that I can show you while we're waiting is there anything that you want to try on I said no I said actually I think that the bag that I really really loved you guys are no longer making and she asked what it was and when I told her she kind of smiled and pointed down to the case that I literally had just put all my things on this was shortly um 
after my mom passed away, uh, I would say within that first year. And I remember just having this feeling of um, her and my aunt who also passed away uh, a year before my mom. And I remember having this just feeling that like they were there shopping with me. And ultimately I pulled the bag out, I looked at it and I just fell in love. I had to have it. So I'm talking about the Speedy in the Empreinte Leather. This is in the color Infinite, which I absolutely adore this color. It can look black and blue which is just so great to me and the embossing as you can see is still super super deep it still smells like leather and to me this bag is so beautiful um but it's not the same as just a classic speedy I think it's so so different so um at the time like I said I was in Los Angeles I was working on a great movie that I actually was on for a really long time it was actually a really difficult movie it was all 1920s and 30s so as far as costumes go um I definitely we had our work cut out for us so to reward myself for such an amazing movie I uh, spur of the moment just um, ended up picking up this bag and I do not regret it it's such a beautiful piece and it's just I still get so happy when I see it so this is definitely one of my many favorites from my collection Moving on, the next bag just made sense to me. Now I was addicted. I had so many amazing bags and my last bag was a little bit more dressy. However, the rest were pretty casual. And I started realizing when I'm going out, I don't have a fancy bag. Um, so my birthday was coming around and I decided that I needed a dressier black bag. So I ended up getting the Alma BB in the color Noir in the Epi leather. And this bag was so great. I felt like I could carry it going casual if I needed black but I also could kind of dress it up and carry it if I was going to a wedding or an event or date night or anything like that so for my birthday I ended up buying this bag and it has proven to be such a great asset to my collection compared to everything else that I have it definitely fits a different um, need in my collection so ultimately this was just such a great bag Next, I have a bag that was a total spur of the moment kind of purchase. It was definitely an impulse buy. And I ended up um, going into the store quite a bit between my last bag and my next bag. And I was trying to decide between the next bag, my next purchase. Um, at this point, I was working on a movie and I knew that at the end of that movie, I was gonna buy something to mark that particular movie. And I really was debating between two different items, which I will get into a little bit more later but during all of this um they were coming out with a newer collection i think it was the world tour collection actually and i was really interested in the tour patch series and i remember walking in and saying you know i'm just curious about that backpack the little mini one and at this point i had been reading online i've been trying to kind of do a little research on it and i knew that it was almost impossible to get a hold of and surprisingly she said oh my gosh we actually just got one in if you're interested it, I'll pull it out from the back. So of course she went in the back and she pulled out the Palm Springs mini backpack and I tried it on and it was so darn cute. I was so torn on this bag because it was not in my plans to get. It definitely was not something that I expected to walk in and find, but it was so cute. I could not leave the store without it. And so my next bag definitely was the Palm Springs mini backpack, totally an impulse buy, but it is so adorable. The next one was something that I was planning on buying. <laughs> this was something that I was really torn on. I was working on a movie and it was actually a difficult movie. Um, the director is, needless to say, a challenge. And so I remember saying, if I can make it through this movie without him screaming at me and yelling at me, I'm gonna buy a bag. I didn't really need another excuse to buy one. I think I just was trying to make myself feel a little bit better. So I knew I was gonna buy a bag to represent this particular movie that I worked on. And I was really torn between two different, actually three different bags, all the same print. I became obsessed with the denim epi leather print. And I was really actually thinking that I was gonna go with the Neverfull. And because I loved my little Alma BB, I thought maybe the Alma BB. And ultimately, I ended up picking 
the Alma in the PM. And this bag is just my happy bag. I love the color. I love how big it is. The functionality is perfect. I love that I can do dressy or casual with it. And this was such a, such a good purchase. I am so glad that I went with this. I still kind of look at the Neverfull sometimes and wonder if I should add that to my collection, but I would never give up this bag for the Neverfull. So this was definitely a great purchase for my next bag. Okay, so then moving on, the next movie that I was working on was something that was very different for me. It was with an amazing, amazing director who I am still so honored and baffled that I got the chance to work with. Um, I was in LA and I was actually going to get the Never Full with the World Tour patches on it. Uh, this bag had come out and I loved that it was black trim and I wanted to use it as a travel bag. So I ended up buying it and while I was in the store, I remember my sales associate who I just love in LA, she um, kind of had me try on a few different things and one of the things that we looked at was the reverse print um, monogram pieces. And to be honest, I wasn't that impressed with them. They don't photograph well. And so when I saw them, I wasn't really like, oh, I have to look at them. But she had me try on a couple pieces. And ultimately, I did go with the Neverfull. Well, I got back to where I was staying. And I wanted the Neverfull to be a travel piece for me. And when I put all the things that I carry as a carry-on in the bag, it was just too small. The MM size was just not conducive for a travel bag. So I ended up returning it. And I wasn't really sure what I was was going to do at that point what I wanted to get but I kept kind of going back to a photo of me trying on this bag that my sales associate had me try on and I'm talking about the Pochette Matisse in the reverse monogram this bag was something that I really honestly was not considering and my sales associate kept saying it looks great with your hair I really like it on you so once I ended up getting back um to where I am now the uh pictures I kept kind of going back through and going back through and I realized I loved it so a couple weeks later I contacted my sales associate and she was amazing enough to be able to find this and send it to me I'll go ahead and link the unboxing up here so I was just so shocked that I even got it and it explains a little bit more about why I chose this one but this bag has been actually really really fun. I love that it's a little bit different and I think that the Pochette Matisse is such a functional bag. So for me this was actually a really good choice. As much as that Neverfull was beautiful, I'm so glad that I went with this one. And for the last bag in my current collection, I really am actually surprised that this kind of is even in my collection for that matter. Um, back when I was debating between my Bloomsbury and it was after I purchased my Totally, I kept going into the store and trying on uh, the Bloomsbury. And I really was really considering the Bloomsbury, but I also was considering getting another Speedy B, this time in the Bandolier, in the Damier Abine print. If I can find a picture, I'll go ahead and insert insert that over here for you. But when I went into the store, there was a bag that I remember seeing and liking, but it wasn't a style that I was interested in. I was had my heart set on a crossbody in Damier Bean, so I didn't really look that much at it. Fast forward, every single summer, I see pictures of this bag, and I just love, love the color. I think it's so beautiful and so fun and so summery. So this summer, I was determined to get it. And I'm talking about the Neverfull in the Turquoise B. And this bag was just so fun. I just love the interior of it. Um, but obviously, it was a bag that was no longer carried with Louis Vuitton anymore. And as you guys know, I just recently spoke about a Neverfull that the MM size was just too small. But once I started to look back at that picture and see that little bag in there, the more it felt like it was haunting me, like the bag I didn't get that I should have. And I became kind of obsessed with it. We were getting ready to go on vacation to Florida. I had just recently finished working on a pilot for a TV show that was actually really, really fun. And I thought, you know, my bag that I'm gonna get to represent that show that I worked on, I'm gonna look for this bag. I'm gonna see if I can track it down. And I found on the Facebook page an amazing, amazing girl who ended up having it and wanting to get rid of hers. And as hesitant as I was, I had never purchased pre-loved. I was really, really torn if this was the bag for me. And ultimately I ended up getting it. Um, you can see my excitement in my unboxing video. I just adore this bag. And I was so shocked and it ended up being in better condition than what I could have even hoped for 
before. It has been so much fun to carry this summer. I just love the turquoise. I love, love, love this bag as a purse. Um, as a travel bag, I definitely think it would be a little bit too small if I was carrying it as a carry-on, but it's such a great piece for me. And so I'm really glad that I was able to add this to my collection. And there you have it, my entire Louis Vuitton collection as of now. Obviously, my collection's constantly going to be changing. I have a really hard time getting rid of items, um, and there are a lot of really, really sentimental pieces in this collection. So I definitely think there are a few that I might eventually be able to part with, but for now, I just am really, really content with what I have. There definitely are a few pieces on my wish list, but as far as I can see, there isn't any big holes in my collection. So thank you all for watching my video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here and want to see more from me, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button and check out some of my other videos. Thanks again for watching and have a good day. story. I missed a lot. <laughs> Is it even recording? Yeah.